My name is Mukesh Noda and I am interested in plant epigenetics. To begin with, let us try to understand what is epigenetics. Epigenetics is a phenomenon where characters are inherited from one generation to another generation or one cell to another cell, but the information is not encoded in nucleic acid sequence. Literature suggests that DNA methylation, histone post-translation modifications and non-coding RNAs are the carriers of epigenetic memory. Our lab is specifically interested in histone post-translational modifications. Approximately 200 different histone post-translational modifications are known, but very few of them are known as epigenetic in nature. Approximately 200 different histone post-translational modifications are known, but very few of them are known as epigenetic in nature. So we try to understand which histone modifications are epigenetic in nature. We have developed specific assay to understand the epigenetic nature of histone post-translational modifications. Our data suggests that H3K23 and H3K14 lysine residues are epigenetic in nature. More specifically, acetylation on these residues are in epigenetic in nature. On the other hand, we try to explain epigenetic basis of plant development. I give you two specific examples of plant development. First is vernalization. So what is vernalization? Vernalization is a phenomenon where plants receiving prolonged cold when brought to a normal temperature flower earlier than the plants which have not received cold. After bringing them to the normal temperature, a lot of mitotic cell division happens, but the cells still remember that we were in the cold and the plant flowers earlier. Second example I give you is leaf complexity. So very stemless is a homeobox transcription factor which is very important in determining leaf complexity. We have found there are two conserved cis regulatory elements in the promoter of Sutmer stemless. One of them binds to polycom group of protein, another one of them binds to trithora group of protein. The interaction between them is important in determining leaf complexity. 